Imager here by K Research is a stereo image enhancer plugin. In this video, we're going to take a first look at it and some of its features and what it can do. Unlike most traditional stereo enhancing plugins, Imager here by K Research is a really powerful and unique engine. It can divide the frequencies of your source material into hundreds of bands, giving you the most detail possible without affecting the overall tone and color of your sounds. So let's dive right in and check it out. Imager's plugin window here is pretty cool. We've got some pretty basic self-explanatory features like on and off, left and right channel only processing, and both, our output and input meters. We also can choose the amount of frequency widening here with the shape attenuation here for the top and bottom, and the amount of separation here with the depth controls, okay? We can also choose to have a normal effect or we can enunciate it for more exaggerated applications. And the spread here controls the morphing between the left and right channels. You can see as I slow it down, the morphing slows down, and as I increase it, the morphing increases. We can freeze that morphing by choosing this option here and locking it into one fixed value. So let's take a listen to this plugin. Here I popped it into every track so we can hear the differences. Here I put it on my stereo drum track. So let's take a listen to this. First without, and then I'll pop the plugin in. It'll help if you're using stereo headphones to really hear the separation effect of this imager. K Research gives us a lot of presets from what to choose from to get started. Now, what I like to do is I usually kind of scroll through them all, and then I'll stop at one that's pretty close to the one that I want to use, and then I'll attenuate it from there. Let's hear what it sounds like on our guitar. Let me solo that and open up the plugin, and let's check this out. First without, and then I'll pop it in and out. So as you can see, it really can create really particular kinds of stereo widening here with the effects. Now remember, we can transform this from normal to strong and adjust it. Let's take a listen to um, the entire mix as a whole. Now I put it on drums, guitar, pads, and yes, even here on our bass guitar track. And now it works with mono and stereo tracks too, so you can experiment with both. Let's take a listen, and what I can do here in Cakewalk is bypass all the effects at once with this feature right here in the control bar. So we'll toggle between the two. Here we go. Keep in mind, we have this on individual tracks, but I can also place it on my, my master bus here. Here on my master track, we could globally affect the stereo width of all of those tracks as well. And you'll see that we've got some presets to get started with that here under the preset menu browser. The best thing to do is to really just pop this in and play around with it and get started. The effect is really great. It doesn't color the sound until you really exaggerate it and kind of step into that creative effect zone with this plugin. I've never worked with one that was so unique like this. K Research has really come up with something new and very creative. 
So dive right in and have fun.